Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a, basically an eclipse reading for y'all. So this is for the end of July. It's an, basically an eclipse energy. What's this? What are these eclipses doing for you? What are they doing for you? This is Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, we're just going to see what comes up. We're going to get one of these. We're going to get one of these. We're going to get one of these. We're going to read this card at the end and then we're going to use this this deck right here so this reading may or may not be for you this is just what I'm picking up on for Virgo for the end of July in regards to you know the these eclipses so let's see what let's see what's gonna happen for you we're gonna start right right here Virgo what do we have for Virgo dear God angels spirits and universe you know what I'm not going to take either of those because there was two and I, I'm not going to do that. So what do we have? What do we have for Virgo? One card, please. I only saw one of them. Well, we're going to go with that one. That seems to be the one. broken heart well well you know it is what it is right it is what it is so you know it looks like we somebody may be dealing with a broken heart maybe dealing with still healing that broken heart this is a it's closure okay nine is a number of closure so you know it is time for closure nines are a sign to move on okay you know, I feel, I mean, you think about life path number nine, you, you've reached the end. You've reached the end. So something is coming to an end and it may be heartbreaking and I can't pretend. And I don't think that you can either. So Virgo, what do I got for Virgo? I mean, that came flying out. So it could happen out of the blue even. You may all of a sudden feel like you've been stabbed right in the heart. I mean, just, I'm not trying to scare you. That just, you know, it came flying out. So, Virgo. Could be some tears shed. And there probably is going to be some tears shed. Flirt. Well, I don't know. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. You know, maybe you're, maybe you're healing from a broken heart and you're going to start flirting again. I mean, that could certainly be the case. It's funny, both of my ears just started ringing like really bad. Um, so something is going on here. Something is going on here. Um, I got to show you what's on the bottom. I really didn't want to, but I, it's begging me to do so. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Be careful. Be careful who you're flirting with. Okay? Be careful who you're dealing with. It could lead to a broken heart. Or, you know, maybe you find out this person is with somebody else. Or the person you're with finds out you're with somebody else. Or, or something like that. Pay attention to the red flags. There's, there, You're going to receive some sort of sign. Okay? When this sign, whatever this red flag is, or this sign that you receive, it may, you know, break your heart. I mean, I've got to be honest with you. Or you're dealing with pain from a past broken heart, and you're still healing from it. I mean, that could certainly be the case. And that can make you vulnerable. When you have a broken heart, it can make you vulnerable. So be really careful about who you're dealing with. Virgo. Well, we got three of them. I'm going to show them to you, but we're going to put them back in. Help from above. You got some help from above. Okay, somebody is trying to help you. Somebody that has passed away. Sexuality. Yeah. And I can see that as well. You're probably feeling very sexual. You're probably looking very good. You're probably, you know, putting out the old pheromones, which is probably the case. Okay. 
and you're flirting with somebody, you know, and it could it could lead you in the wrong direction. Just be careful. You don't want to get hurt now. Self-love. Love yourself. Love yourself, Virgo. <laughs> know your value. Know your worth. Somebody from above is watching you. And they may, they may, you know, they may see that maybe, maybe they, they're looking down at you and they, maybe they think that, you know, you don't love yourself. Maybe you're not honoring your sexuality or maybe you're going overboard. There's definitely a sexual energy here. Definitely. Um... So it looks to me like you are probably, uh, people are seeing your attractiveness. You are being seen as very attractive. Um, somebody is guiding you. Maybe they're guiding somebody to you to help heal your broken heart. But you have to be discerning. Make sure that you are paying attention. Make sure that you are choosing wisely. Make sure you know your value. I can't put them back because that just would not be right now, would it? Um, we'll improvise. We will improvise. We'll, we'll just go like this because it has to be that way. So, You know, when this flew out, it was reversed. I flipped it up. Some of you are healing from a broken heart, which may make you vulnerable. Okay. Virgo. <clears throat> what do we have for Virgo? for this eclipse energy it almost feels like there's a painful ending whether you've had it or you're about to experience it prince of pentacles reversed queen of son of a gun queen of pentacles so you're here you're definitely here it looks to me, I mean, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, another Earth sign. I think you probably are. You probably, you definitely could be dealing with another Earth sign, okay, because we have two of them here. I feel as though you're stable, I feel as though you're solid, you're secure, you're grounded, you know, you're feeling very comfortable, you're sitting on your throne, you're in your element, um, you do love yourself. You see the, all the green. Okay, green is self-love. It is the heart chakra. So I think that you do have a lot of self-love. But I feel like you, you maybe you're dealing with somebody who doesn't see your value or somebody that um, isn't practical. It looks to me as though you're looking at something that is going nowhere. It's like you're looking... This is stagnant. There's no forward movement. There's no... There's nothing happening. This person may be lazy. This person may not take charge. This person is less than passionate. This person um, isn't stable. This person isn't secure. This person may have their own insecurities. This person doesn't want to change anything. This person doesn't want to... This person doesn't... Um, this person could be boring. You could be looking at somebody that is boring you. Um, it looks like you are thinking about putting the brakes on something because this person isn't doing anything. You yeah, maybe be dealing with this person. Queen of Cups. Wow. You know, I think that you probably, you know, your heart wants something. I think that um, you're very, very intuitive at this time. I feel like your intuition is talking to, to you. I was going to say me. I feel like you um, are, your dreams are telling you something. You're getting messages from your dreams, so really, really pay attention to your dreams. I feel like your heart, you have a really, really, really big heart. Um, you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. You're, you could be. You, you got water and earth here. 
So you're dealing with a water sign or an earth sign or both. Um, there's something that is hidden that is about to be revealed. There's some sort of secret that is below the surface that hasn't been revealed yet, but this full moon is going to bring it right out. And it does have to do, it's going to affect your heart, okay? It is going to affect your heart. There's some, some something that is going to affect your heart. Uh, Ten of Wands, this is, this is burdensome. This is, you're probably looking at a burdensome, heavy situation. You are. I think that you have something solid, something big, something stable to offer, but you're not giving it. It's like you're not giving it away. Four of Wands. Wheel of Fortune. Lust, which is the Strength card. Five of Wands reversed. And the Ace of Pentacles. Like I said, you're not giving anything away freely. You're holding on. There could be a loss here. You, maybe you have experienced a big loss. and you're Or you're about to. I mean, this is a loss. It's a loss. And there's definitely a very sexual energy here. I think that, you know, you're... you're very very attractive at this moment at this moment and somebody is 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 wanting to pursue you they're, you they're pursuing you they're wanting to hold on to you they're very sexually attracted to you uh not only are they sexually attracted they see you as an opportunity for love they see you as an opportunity for commitment if you haven't met this person yet this is the four of wands you may meet this person uh, a gathering, a celebration of some sort. Things are about to change for you. The Wheel of Fortune. Something. This is a major life change. This is destined change. Um, it's not. You haven't seen it yet. It probably hasn't come yet. It's going to come right around this full moon because it's still hidden right now. But life is about to change for you in a very big way. And this. And this is self love. I think it's because you find your strength to love yourself, you love your body, you love your image, you, you have this self-confidence, you have this way about you that everybody can see it and, it, and and confidence is attractive, it's attractive. So I feel like your attractiveness is on high, it's very on high. I think that you are feeling very flirtatious and you probably have people, you know, you have mul this is competition, you have, you, you do, you have multiple opportunities here and I think that you really need to be careful because, you know, when your heart is healing, you may be vulnerable and you may not choose so wisely. You probably, um, you know, are reluctant. The Five of Wands reversed. You're probably reluctant to get into any new commitment. You're probably reluctant to uh, let go of something. You know, this Ace of Pentacles reversed. Or to start anything stable and solid. You may be reluctant. You 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 may feel overwhelmed. You know, with the attention that you're getting, you may be getting a lot of attention. This is overwhelmed. Um, you may be tested. Okay, this is a test card. You may be tested. Um, you may you may be losing your focus, losing your competition because there's so many people coming at you or so many things coming at you. It's like you're being poked from every direction or you're being sought after by a few. I feel as though um, somebody is really seeing your stability. You know, they see you as a stable option. They see you as somebody who is very, very, um, it's almost like psychic. This is psychic, okay? Um, maybe they have a connection with you. They have a, they have a telepathic connection with you. Um, this person, it's almost like, you know, this person, you talk, you can talk to each other through your eyes. I don't know where that is coming from, but the eyes speak. Um, I feel as though you could be, you could have a mother that has passed away or a mother figure could be a grandmother, could be anybody. It feels like there's a mother figure that has passed away or an angel or a guide even that is is bringing you some sort of change it's bringing you some sort of good fortune this is good luck something good is coming something really good is coming if you are the male watching this you probably have a, an option between two people if you same with the female just there's choices here there is some choices there's definitely choices here you have options 
You definitely have options. And I think you have these options because of your high confidence. Like I said, confidence is sexy. It's sexy. So be prepared. Expect the unexpected. Something is about to be shown to you that is going to bring you good fortune. It's going to bring you good luck. It's going to lead you to a new destination. Um, this is closing one chapter of your life. One chapter is coming to an end. The wheel is spinning. This is the wheel of change. You may re be reluctant. You know, you may be reluctant to let go of what you once knew, but I feel as though you're going to find the strength to let it go because you probably don't have a choice. <laughs> Anyhow, um, because the Wheel of Fortune is here, the wheel is spinning. Um, some of you could be losing weight, okay, because this is a heavy weight and this is very sexy. It's very sexual and that is very sexual. I feel as though you're doing things differently than you always have. I think that you I think that you're changing your routines a little bit. I feel uh, you may have changed your diet, you know. Um and that which has increased your confidence, whatever. Um there is some sort of commitment. This is this is a commitment or happiness that is coming with this 4 of wands. Expe it, you know, it is unexpected. It is unexpected. I feel as though if you if you haven't met this person, I think you're going to meet this person unexpectedly. It's divinely guided, okay? There's divine help here with the Wheel of Fortune and this help from above. And I feel it, that this is all, your life is changing for the better because of your self-love, your, your ability to do what's best for you. Um... Whoever is coming towards you has a very big heart. This person is stable. This person um, is ready for commitment. And this person is very, very, very attracted to you. And there's going to be a lot of passion. There's a lot of passion here. Um... That's what I got, Virgo. You know, something is about to come to light that you didn't see coming. Good luck. <laughs>